ladies and gentlemen, welcome once more to the Goodwill Spreader channel, where once more I will beat a deck I built against a deck a friend of mine built. In this case, I will be pitting the creator of light deck against. Hmm, well, against Pegasus deck. I don't believe I have showcased this deck before, so here we go. All right, start things started with the right foot for one. So I'll throw shield garner and this card's face down. One problem with Pegasus is that this is based on Yu-Gi-Oh for the memories Pegasus. Well. Not entirely, but partially, and that makes him a very, very annoying and dangerous threat because the two monsters have well, not all of them, but several of them can attack my life points directly if two happens to be on the field. This is why I was being precautious. I activate Draining Shield to compensate a bit. Oh, that's cute. Well, I'm not quite bothered. Sadly, Burial from a different dimension can work with different dimension capsule for whatever reason. Now that his Raigeki has been taken care of, I activate Nightmares of Steel Cage to give me some breath of air. The entire point of this deck is summoning both overly all three cards of the gods to the field which is not an easy feat and then have enough cards or life points as you will later see to actually summon the rest and with this I have nearly the game won for those who are wondering how that can be it's thanks to Ross Disciples Although not particularly great for most things, they are wonderful for summoning Ra. Yes, to quote Rock Lee. Mm, okay. I'll set down these cards. For a simple reason, Soul Church, the anime version which is cheaper, and to us the better version on this occasion, it's exactly what the doctor ordered. So I activate Magical Mallet, I want to send most of these cards back to my deck in hopes of no. Didn't got anything good. Okay, I activate this. And I normal summon Ras Disciples and I summon the other two Ras Disciples in defense mode. With this, next turn that I throw Slifer to the graveyard, both of them, and some random tearing card, I can summon the creator of light. Much like with Exodia, this deck is meant to summon the god cards quite fast. No, I won't activate Ras Effect because it's counterproducent to me. So no, now I activate Soul 
church and summon the slifer and obelisk. And a special summon the creator god of light, Horakti. Horakti. And bye bye, Pegasus. Well, as always, thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe, give a like or comment if you have any request. Please let it on the comment section. You have a suggestion, do the same. That being said, I bid you a good day and a good week. Thanks for watching.